welcome back to my channel. Today we are gonna be making something that is long overdue that I've been meaning to do. And Hunter finally just settled down. In every other intro, I promise you, he was gurgling and growling and bumping the tripod like he does, cause he's just weird like that. And now the one video where he's actually debuted in, he's finally settled down. Anyways, today I am making dog bibs and I love to dress my dog up, but when it's a necessity, it's even better because then I have an actual excuse to make sure he's always wearing a really cute bib. So Hunter drools, sorry Hunter, I just put that out on the internet, but you drool a lot. Okay, so Hunter drools a lot. And I didn't know he was a drooly dog when we got him. It may have been a game changer, but it's okay, we love him. Um, but he drools. And so I decided to make bibs that are backed with towels because we literally have to keep towels in every room because he will come and drool on our guests. It takes a while for him to get comfortable with a guest and when he does get comfortable with the guest, he drools on them and I feel awful. Most people don't really care, but at the same time, it's really annoying. I can't walk out of the house without drool on me. Long story short, I had to make him some terry cloth backed bibs. I actually made these ones and they were a little small. So your dog's probably smaller than my dog. If he's not, you may need to amp up to an actual yard of fabric, which is what I'm gonna do for his real bibs for this video. These ones were fine but they are a little small. So I'm gonna actually make him some jumbo ones, um, but I really loved the patterns that I found in the co fat quarters at Joann's this time. So I actually just got those and yeah, so I don't know. I don't know where I was going with that, but they're really cute and I just loved the pattern. So hopefully I can find some cute patterns in fabric that I can get by the yard. Whoa, that was way too much information for a tutorial. So let's just get going. If you're new here, click subscribe. If you don't know who Hunter is, watch some of my other videos, you'll find him and also he'll be in this tutorial. So let's get going. Hi buddy, you bring me the towel and get me the towel. Where's the towel? Got it? You gonna bring it to me? Thank you. Can I use it for the DIY? Or you're gonna sleep with it? Okay. We making you some bibs today? Are we gonna make you a bib? You want a bib? Buddy, you want some new bibs? You want some new bibs? Trying to shoot. This is where we're supposed to be shooting, right here. And he's laying on top of it. Thank you, buddy. All right, so we're gonna start with some fat quarters. You can obviously get fabric if you want, but I really liked the idea of fat quarters because it made my life easier and I could just grab them at Joann's. So I'm gonna press them out. I do love the easy press for ironing. You wouldn't, I mean, I guess you would think of it, but okay, so I'm just gonna use the other fabric as a contrast, you guys can see this. So I'm gonna fold them right sides together. If your dog is big like Hunter, then I went the longest I could go by kind of making it a little uneven. Obviously, if your dog is really big and you want them to tie, you may need more than a fat quarter, which I've thought, thank you, Hunter, about um, getting some bigger stuff for him, but I'm just gonna cut this excess piece off right here and pin it together to make it a complete square. And I'm just gonna flip it over and do that to the other side as well. The shadow is again Hunter. I don't, it was convenient that he got to be in this video. Dustin's working on the kitchen in this video, so he was in here with me. Okay, so I just took an old towel, or you can use a new towel, whatever you want, and I cut a little triangle for the end. The whole reason for this because I can buy bibs all day long, but I need it to have a piece of towel on it so that when he slobbers, we can just wipe his slobber and we don't have to run and go find a little towel. So I'm just gonna pin this in here and then I'm gonna sew these two edges. You can sew um, two different pieces of fabric, but since I needed this to be as large as I could, I um, just used one and folded it in half and I left just the end open. So I'm going to turn it right side out and press it closed, making sure that those pieces of the edge are completely pushed out. Um, so just use a pen or something to push those edges out. So now I'm gonna press it and then um, it'll be ready to hem. 
So this will make sure that it's nice and flat when we sew it. I really love the Easy Press for sewing my projects. It's super cool. Okay, so make sure those little pieces on the ends are as sharp as they can be and pressed. So now I'm just gonna turn the end in and press that as well so that I can sew around the outside. I actually didn't sew all the way to the edges and I showed, I was gonna show you how to do Velcro, but Hunter is so big that I actually had to make this super big and even Velcro would have been too small for his neck. So I do need to make bigger ones for him. But now I'm just gonna sew the entire outside. Um, you can leave this like a pocket if you want or you can sew across the top, but just be warned that your stitch is gonna show through on the other side. So I'm gonna give it just like, not even a half inch seam allowance. I'm just gonna sew the outside to give it just a final stitch and it'll be all good to go and you can tie this around your doggy or you can put Velcro on it as well. And here, Q Hunter hitting my camera at the very end. Thank you, Hunter. Thank you. What? Oh, you're gonna sew it yourself? Okay. No, you can't have Gatorade. That's not a thing. We don't allow that. Love you.